This footage released by the Wolfpack unit, part of the 3rd Assault Brigade of Ukraine, reportedly shows a soldier continuing to defend his positing by firing a machine gun at Russian forces after being shot in the shoulder. The soldier is seen being tended to by a medic as he continues to fire at the Russian forces. In one video, Ukrainian soldiers are seen storming Russian positions near Bakhmut in a fierce battle that reportedly lasted all day. The footage, shot from a drone, shows the moment a Ukrainian soldier hurls a grenade into a trench as his compatriots exchange small arms fire and even rocket-propelled grenades with their Russian foes. The images were obtained from the Office of Strategic Communications, STRATCOM, of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on July 8, along with a statement saying, Infantrymen of the 28th OMBR, with the support of artillery and mortars, successfully knocked out the invaders from the landing south of Bakhmut. Another clip showed Ukrainian units targeting Russian positions with multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, they had captured from the invaders. A volley of missiles launched from the Ukrainian-operated TOS-1A Sonspec can be seen devastating Russian positions and armor in a series of large explosions. The images were obtained from the first separate assault company of the DUKPS of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on July 9. Meanwhile, Russia's defense ministry released a clip of a convoy of Ukrainian armor being destroyed in a pinpoint strike, though did not specify the location. Much attention in recent days has focused on the ongoing fight for Bakhmut, particularly in the village of Klishchivka in the city's southern outskirts. Russia's defense ministry said its forces had repelled Ukrainian advances near Bakhmut, with fighting made difficult not only by the daily intensity of fire and battle, but also by topography. The line of contact runs between two hills. Ukrainian military analyst Denis Popovich said Ukrainian forces had taken important positions near Klishchivka. This will allow for artillery control of Klishchivka itself and of parts of Bakhmut and supply routes. He told Ukraine's NV Radio, just as Wagner surrounded the city, so will we. And Chechen leader and close Putin ally, Ramzin Kadyrov, said his Achmet unit was in the difficult Bakhmut sector, but did not provide a battlefield assessment. Bakhmut for months has been the epicenter of the bloody conflict in Ukraine, with bitter World War I-style trench and artillery warfare in the countryside surrounding the city giving way to brutal close-quarter urban combat in the center. Ukraine is two months into its long-awaited counter-offensive, slowly pressing the front lines and grinding against Russia's defenses, and on the outskirts of a ruined town, the site of one of the bloodiest battles of the war. Ukrainian forces are battling a Russian group called Storm Z, according to a new report. As the Ukrainians fight on the outskirts of Bakhmut, positioning to retake key territory, they are running into Storm Z forces, Russian troops sent to replace the Wagner group after its fighters came off the line, the Washington Post reported. Storm Z, however, doesn't consist of mercenaries like Wagner, which defined itself with a culture of extreme violence. The group instead is a mix of regular reservists and conscripts, the Post said. Some of the troops in this force are convicted criminals though, which is reminiscent of Wagner's push earlier this year to enlist Russian prisoners as combatants in exchange for time off of their sentences. Many of those prisoners were massacred fighting in Bakhmut. Ukraine has said that Storm Z shows extremely low combat capability, according to a press release translated by Pravada. The soldiers in this group suffer from alcoholism, engage in looting, and are prone to desertion, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine said, and Russian leadership has made efforts to regroup Storm Z with other soldiers. Ukrainian forces built up an impressive arsenal of tanks, armored vehicles, and other weaponry provided by the U.S. and its NATO allies to deliver an armored punch through Russian fortifications. Progress, however, has not come easy, and Ukrainian officials have frequently pushed back on pessimism that the counteroffensive is not moving fast enough. Arguing that a quick, sweeping counteroffensive isn't feasible, with just the weapons it has now. This week, retired Brigadier Gen. Mark Kimmett, 
who served for decades as a U.S. Army officer and also as Deputy Director of Operations for Coalition Forces in Iraq, broke down why it's so difficult for Ukraine to puncture Russia's lines. In a Wall Street Journal video that was published on Monday, Kimmon explained how these various defenses are stacked one in front of each other and can stretch for several miles, creating as many as eight layers of dangerous fortifications that Kyiv's heavy armor, like advanced Western-made tanks, and ground troops have to clear at costs in terms of both manpower and equipment. The Russians, like most countries, have what they call a deliberate defense, which is a series of layered obstacles, all to make sure that the Ukrainian forces are stopped as far forward as possible. Kimmet said 